What's going on, Blue Boys? Where do I start? It's took me around four hours. What time is it now? Nine o'clock. It's took me around four hours to calm down. This is the first time I've, or I'm doing an Everton video for a long, long time. Um, something that I was going to start doing years ago, called it different names for the love of Everton. Um, then I brought it to a, a channel where I talk about other things on and, uh, guys, I've, this is it. I'm back. And I guess it's took something like this for me to come back on a personal level. Um, you know, guys, before I go any further, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, click that bell to turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time I do a video. And I plan to do these frequently. Um, I'm a Lancashire-born Evertonian. Um, it's always been Everton from four years of age. My dad was a blue he brought it to me. I brought it to my son. This is what we do week in, week out. Um, we go to every single game. Um, not away. Difficult to get tickets. Um, we're ready for Bramley Moor. I've gone all out in hospitality. And I'm beginning to regret it. Because today, my eight-year-old son, so his dad, lose it with 40 other thousand people and it became hostile. And that loss today is on the manager, Sean Dash. I think I lost the plot and I was shouting from the top balcony around the 75th minute. I could see that they'd made five, we all could see that they'd made five changes and we'd not made one. We could see Timmy Raburum on his last legs because of the work, work rate that he put into that game, the shift that he's putting in week in, week out, and where's his protection? You know, have we found ourselves a potential Yaya Toure? Because I'm telling you now, he is something special. Why has Jimmy Gardner not come onto that pitch? to just get hold of the ball, keep the ball. Why is Roman Dixon not come on the pitch for Seamus Coleman? Why is Calvert-Lewin been brought off? Why is Lilliman and Jai been brought off? He still had legs. Honestly, I can't fathom that mismanagement, not that performance, because today I felt like we saw a new Everton. We saw a balance to the team. Dwight McNeil's legs had gone. I get where, I'm just having a look at the bench now, obviously, you know, those plays that I've just mentioned, uh, you know, potentially... I get why Decore came on, but it was for the wrong man. It was for the wrong man. And Jai can, he can carry up the pitch. We've seen it. He, he, he kept doing it. I think he weren't ready to come off. So them two substitutions have literally killed us. And how long it took to make those changes has killed us. And that is on Sean Dyche. Sunny day today. Goodison, we're bouncing. It was atmospheric. Singing the tune, Super Kev. A person who is, he's close to my heart. As a legend. And someone who I got to know on a personal level. Um... Sent me message, messages at Christmas, uh, my wedding. We did stuff together 
uh, online with an investment app. And I was in contact with Super Kev on a regular basis. And he helped me through some of the last couple of seasons where I thought Everton were done. I don't believe this. These players are done. I believe there's a team in there. Yes, I would have liked to have seen, I think we all would have liked to have seen uh, a winger brought in from the right-hand side. Um, but it's been a decent winder. It has. But that today, that managerial performance He's literally killing himself. He really is killing himself because we've got Villa next. We get beat against Villa. That's four straight losses in the league. We've conceded 10 goals. <laughs> Words are hard around times like this because I've used them all today and I don't want to come on here and swear it's not my nature when I'm on camera <laughs> um, I lost it today though and uh, in my mind I'm going all out for me and my son when we moved to Bradley Moore going for the hospitality £8,000 a year for me and him in the Trinity the best seats in the house and I'm beginning to regret it because it, the amount of money that we put into this club, the games that we go to, the merchandise that we, we purchase, and it's for all clubs, but we keep getting let down. And today I just feel let down by Sean Dyche. I don't know where we go from here as a club. I mean, who is there to sack Sean Dyche? Can we afford to sack Sean Dyche? But he's showing that he's inept. It's showing why he were at Burnley for so long. Yes, people say that he kept us up. Us fans kept us up. And we've been doing it for the last three years. We're on the skin of the teeth. We really are. For 80 minutes today, we look like a side. And I felt buzzing. And I'm looking at my son and we're buzzing. Happy for Michael Keane getting on the score sheet. Calvert-Lewin grabbing his goal. It could have been three, it could have been four, it could have been five. And we've ended up losing that game. Three, two. What was it, the 80... Was it 86 minutes? Six minutes added on. Three goals in nine, ten minutes. So guys, I'm back. And uh, I'm going to be bringing the content on a weekly basis. Um, I've changed its name. Life of an Evertonian. I ain't got the Scouse accent. But I'm blue, through and through. And it's always been that way, and it always will be. And uh, Everton till we die. And uh, Super Kev, I know you were looking down on us today, thinking multiple things like we all were. Um, I keep telling myself we'll be fine because of what you've you've told me and I, I'm trying to think that way. I'm trying to think positive, but it's hard. It's hard when you see a result like that, not a performance, a result like that. So guys, this is Life of an Evertonian. Um, if you appreciate the level of content, just give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you will. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.